Welcome back. It is time to celebrate the official spirit of America. All right. Sounds good. We checked in uh, with Stephanie Gary earlier today, and today we are raising a glass of bourbon. Sorry, our prompter just went down, so I'll read it. We're going to help toast National Bourbon Day. Houston Life reporter Steph Gary has set out to find her own craft cocktail for the big day. Did you find it, Steph? Oh, you could, you know I did, you guys. I'm at 8 Row Flint with Beverage Director Morgan Weber. Now, you're the Beverage Director and owner here, but I want to tell our viewers at home, Morgan, what the heck is bourbon? Because there seems to be a confusion out there. Yeah, so bourbon has to be made in America, and it has to be made from grain, and it has to have at least a majority of the corn as part of its recipe. And then awesome. Then it has to stay in new American oak barrels for at least two years. Okay, so speaking of oak barrels, now if we look right above me, what I really love about 8 Row Flint is that they actually serve um, whiskey or bourbon, if you will, out of the barrels here. Now straight from this for the real whiskey connoisseur, tell us a little bit about what you guys do. We wanted to go a step further. We wanted to go into the rick houses, into the distilleries, try a bunch of barrels of bourbon. If we find something we really like, we buy the entire barrel, have it bottled for us, and you can only get that here. Awesome. Now, you guys, if you're not ready to uh, grow a little hair on your chest, because that's strong, but it's yeah. good. Morgan has actually crafted a few cocktails. So we're going to walk over this way. And um, if you're new to bourbon or if you're not sure if you like it, Morgan's actually developed something for you guys that you could make at home as well, pretty simply, um, the bourbon sour. Tell me a little bit about that. So we live in Houston. Margaritas are obviously uh, our native land here. Um, this bourbon sour is basically a margarita within which we have substituted the bourbon for tequila. It's kind of a gateway bourbon drinkers drink. That is really good, really refreshing, and you can't really taste that like bite of bourbon right. to it. So really something fantastic for the new bourbon drinker. And what do we have next here, Morgan? I can't drink a lot of sugary sweet cocktails one after another. Uh, this is kind of my home drink. Like if I'm at the casa sitting on the couch, um, this is what I, I drink at home. I, I, freeze the bourbon in the freezer, I get some Topo Chico, we all love that, and, uh, and we're saving on all the sugar you know, that we're taking in. Okay, so this is the beach body bourbon right here, something you can drink that's light and refreshing. Now tell me about the cl classic cocktail you have there at the end. I feel like uh, people overthink the old fashioned all the time. We already like bourbon, right? We just want to take the edge off with a little sugar, with a little bitters. The old fashioned's been around for 150 plus years. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. If you have one thing in your repertoire at home, you should know how to make an old fashioned the right way. All right, so you guys, these recipes will actually be online, but I'm gonna tell you, you need to get in here to 8 Row Flint because every day is bourbon day here. They also serve some delicious tacos. So you know what, bourbon, beer, tacos, what more could you ask for? Jen and Derek, cheers to you and happy bourbon day, y'all. Cheers. And cheers to you She's while we're the secretly best so jealous. <laughs> I know, what a rough assignment, rough day today. Strawberry shortcake and, and National champagne. Bourbon Day. And now bourbon and tacos. <laughs> and awesome. As a reminder, all those recipes will be online at HoustonLife.tv later today. Steph Gary, thank you so much. And guys, thanks to all of you for watching this show. Uh, hopefully you'll come back tomorrow, huh? Yeah, don't forget, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter.